Well, the season is officially here. <clears throat> Nets are out in the water, rocked down. The tide was coming pretty hard, so didn't have time to set them up. We have to do that a little bit later on this evening. So this afternoon, I've got my cores dragged out, getting my gear dragged out. Got this one filling up with water, which I'm smart. I've got it sitting on wheels so I can roll it around. So if I have to change my water, I can roll it over to the door and drain it out. I don't have to bail it out with a bucket. Getting some water in there, needing to mix in some salt, make an ocean. Get the aerators put in. This tank will be ready and I have to do the same thing in the back of the truck. This time of year, the ocean water and the fresh water running out of the brooks is pretty cold. So these little baby eels, they like salt. So I've got a <clears throat> bucket of uh, salt here. I've had it for a few years. I'm a little bit beyond halfway down through it. I don't go through much in the course of a season. So it gets kind of solid down in there. You can't scoop it out. So I use my uh, handy reciprocating whiz banger here and just go in there. And I can chop it up like that. Comes out chunky or whatever, but who cares? It'll dissolve. So that's how I loosen it up in the bucket. And I just start I do is I'll dump my phone in the cold too. It takes a lot of salt to make an ocean. And uh, I don't worry about getting it to the exact same consistency as the ocean water. I just get a bunch of salt in there, let it dilute, mix it in, measure it, make sure it has some good salt content to it. And that makes the little guys happy. Alrighty. Stir it around with the screen in that. The reason I don't worry about trying to get a lot of salt in here is because it'll dilute for a while, but then it's gonna start settling out and collecting on the bottom of the cooler. And then when you start bailing the eels out, you're scooping out a ton of salt. So, <clears throat> I just dumped a bunch in here, which probably is, it might even be a little bit too much, but it shouldn't make it so much that it's too salty as far as comparing it to the ocean water. So I'm just going to stir this around for a couple minutes, get it mixed in good. This is a uh, eighth inch screening net. The eels have to be able to go through this to be able to keep them. If it's bigger, you have to throw them back in the brook. So you'll see this a little bit later. There. I'm just going to start clearing up a little bit in there now. So this is a hydrometer. The ocean water up here is 32. So right there. If I went and stuck this in the ocean, pulled it out and measured it, the needle's going to come up and sit at 32. So the fresher the water gets, the lower the number. The saltier, the higher the number. See where we're at. It's full. Holding it about level. We're at about 14. So this is still really, really diluted compared to the ocean. It's about half, a little under half of the salinity of the ocean. But like I say, the problem being if I start dumping a ton more salt in here, it's just gonna wind up not being able to dilute in all this water and settling on the bottom. So it's kind of pointless. The amount of salt I have in this water now That'll make the eels happy. They'll like it. So 
14, 16 ish range. I'm, I'm good with that. So now I have to go out and do the same thing in the truck's tank. All ready for them. Got some good air rolling. Uh, that right there is a piece of aluminum pipe because those lines, they like to float up. And I want the air down at the bottom bubbling up through, so I just ran the lines through the piece of pipe for some weight, holding them down on the bottom of the core. <clears throat> the air pump is plugged into the uh, inverter system, so if the grid goes down, this thing keeps on running. Uh, you don't want to lose pounds and pounds of yields, especially when they're thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars a pound, and all of a sudden you're out twenty thousand bucks. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. I know people that's happened to because they've been plugged into the grid, they've gone off, done something, come back hours later, and well, the power went out for a while and the eels suffocated. That's pretty damn disappointing. So now we just gotta hope we can start getting something. We'll see what tonight's tide does. Well, truck's all ready to go. Got plenty of string, got buckets. Coolers in. Got water. Put salt in the water that came out to 16, so that's exactly half of the ocean. I used to get really fussy about running the air lines down in so you couldn't see them, but now I just you know, I don't care. Run them in through the window, they drop down to an air pump, and uh, got my screens in the truck for screening, got my boots in the truck. Um, should have everything I need.